let's say all 10 kids are smart because of Elon Musk, but then all 10 kids have a different talent because their mom has a different talent. So then it's like, you know, one kid is going to become the innovator in the entertainment industry. The another kid is going to become an innovator in the music industry. The another kid is going to become an innovator in AI industry. And then later on, it's going to be 10 people sitting on a, at a round table deciding the fate of the world because they're the, the top 10 elite people in 10, like in all of the 10 industries, but then they're from the same Musk family. Wow, full oh, circle. Yeah. That'd be so, so scary, actually. Yeah, because there are a lot of famous families that are rich, like Rothschild and Rockefeller and all of that. But then their whole family does the same thing. So it's sort of like, you know, it's kind of like they're having a family business and then the next generation just run it. Mm -hmm. But then this, what I'm describing is like 10 different people go out of the world, they do separate things. And then they all rise to the top based on their ability. The only gift, the only advantage they have is that they had the genes from Elon Musk. And then if they all rise to the top, and then they just happen to all be siblings. They will be the first, I mean, might be the last ever family that's like this powerful and like this wide reaching, you know? You think they're probably going to be the richest? Family? Yeah. I don't know how you count family. If it's all different moms, how do you count? Do you, do you count them? That's true, all actually. The same family? Yeah. I don't know, but maybe it's like if you count like anybody who has the last the same last name as the same family, then actually you don't even need the family. So Elon Musk by himself is gonna be the richest family in the world already. Mm. He's gonna be the first ever trillionaire. 